just think there's a rallies out here or you guys i'm officially in northwestern montana for the very first time the first time ever in this state that intro montage i hope it gave you the feels like it gave me shooting and editing it but uh welcome uh, a lot of food a lot of fun i bought beer and bear spray in the same transaction so we're doing good Montana is somehow both everything and nothing like I thought it was going to be. The mountains just like come out of nowhere. I guess I never really thought about all of the snow and rain leaving the mountains and how quickly it's all come down. There's nature everywhere. The smell of pines is incredible. We've been eating so much good stuff. Huckleberries, did not know what those were before. They're in everything. Huckleberry beer, huckleberry aioli on a hamburger, huckleberry soda, huckleberry jam, preserves, syrup, muffins. Muffins, Sundays, which Sean won for me. Cut to that footage. Oh, oh my God. God. You, you got a ticket. Very proud of yourself for that shot. <laughs> you got a Sunday. I won Ellie a Sunday. It was all worth it. Yeah. And so far, the best thing we've had was an international burger at front of the west side entrance to Glacier National Park. It had Canadian bacon and a maple aioli that was a smash burger situation of happiness in my mouth. Like maple aioli? <laughs> also, Allie's brother and I had spicy pickled quail eggs, which were oddly fire. So we just did this four mile hike along Swan River which was a very great start to the day. And pretty much the only reason you hike is to earn the beers. So naturally, brewery time. It smells like hops and happiness. Flathead Brewing Company, brewery number 353,000 for me and Allie. Thank you. Post hiking beer is got to be up there as one of the best beers. Yeah. Post hike, yeah. Yeah. Like I know liking happy beers is like so cliche, but barrel aged sour. Yeah, I love it. Look at our lunch view at the brewery. Second flight, it's a barrel aged porter. This is a double IPA, this is a pale ale, and this is a goza. Thank you. Thank you. The most insane looking spinach and artichoke dip just busting out of the container. Unreal. Have you ever seen fish swim in this shape? Tartar sauce. Fire. I think like breweries low key have great food. Like certain breweries, like their food might be better than their beer. Don't sleep on fish and chips. Imagine eating fries without cheese. Like, imagine being that person that goes on vacation and makes that bad choice. And it's beer cheese. And it's beer cheese. Flight number three. Okay, real quick shout out. These three flights were all bought by people that donated for beer and just tips for the show. So the first one was William Davies, the second one was Dan Vogel, and the third one was Pete Valino. Thank you for feeding into the craft beer obsession. You are loved and you are appreciated. Also, I like William's humor that he donated $6.90 because YouTube Super Thanks wouldn't allow him to do a 69. <laughs> nice, I think. Also a shout out to Adam Fitz for suggesting Flathead Lake Brewing Company. We were here for like two and a half more days and we bought $90 worth of beer. <laughs> I'm also not even exaggerating when I tell you guys the host at the host stand that checks you in and then checks you out when we bought the beer was 11. Not like he looked like he was 11. He was an 11. <laughs> 
11-year-old boy. So, legally. <laughs> Maybe we just don't get on our flight home? Yeah. Cheers. Huckleberry beer? Huckleberry beer. If we never return the keys to this house, we just live here, right? I hope Squatter's so. rights. Yeah, I mean, we don't even have to return keys. We just have the door closed. <laughs> I am beating you by a lot, but you are just learning this game for the first time, so it can't be too sassy. But I am definitely gonna swap that. Currently getting my ass kicked in golf. Never played it. Uh, not on the links or on a table. It's a sipper whiskey. Boy, that Hennigan goes down smooth. <laughs> and afterwards, you don't even smell. We moved outside to play you know, 30 minutes later, look at this. This is what it's all about. You come to Montana to play cards on patios. All right, one final thing we saw before we call tonight, the Truzolino's Truz Beef Pasty, made in Butte, Montana. Oh, baby. All right, the Irish Butte. The pasty is done out of the oven. If you ever saw my video in Northern California visiting Nick, uh, one of my favorite vlogs I ever shot, I'll link that below. But this is Nick, Ellie's brother, my good friend, and now we're gonna try our pasties. Are you going, are you raw dogging it? I'm raw dogging, dude. Okay. These just came out of the oven, so I'm terrified we're gonna burn ourselves. Cheers. Whoa. Whoo! It's just like a, such a good warming, like, thing. It's almost like a uh, pot pie, in a way. Yeah. Like, what's in it? And the mustard's gonna be dank on it. Some yellow mustard and some, which I found out, I put this on my Instagram, Nick's favorite hot sauce is tiger sauce. He uses this the most. A little sweet, a little spicy. New Orleans. Naturally. So we were reading up about these. It's like actually a Montana thing, these beef pasties. I think I'm saying that right, I think it's pasty. Way back in the day, like miners used to eat these and cook them over a candle. Kind of gorgeous, truly. It's a hefty boy. It's a hefty boy. Good luck to us. It's more potato than I expected. Whew. That's burned my whole tongue. Overall, a little drier than I'd want it. Like, it's just like a lot of potato. It's just kind of like a little bit of that dry factor, but like good taste. Very down home, lovely taste, but a little dry. Good bread. Good bread. Do some meat. Just a load of potatoes. Right before they were done, we took them out. We brushed them with milk. A little seasoning, a little salt and pepper, a little cayenne on top just to give a little something something. This was Nick's idea to do mustard, which I thought was weird at first, but I'm such a mustard boy, you guys know that. Mm-hmm. It works. Wow. It works better than the hot sauce. Yeah, it does. Mustard and beef, man. It's mm. All right, we're gonna get out of here. Got a whole night ahead of us of playing cards. Thanks for watching. More Montana stuff to come. The big Michael S. Burger Town video also to come. Excited for that. Enjoy the rest of your night. Goodbye. <laughs>